go back to that school, I don't know. You know, and it terrifies me that this even happened. Fed up with bed bugs at Buffalo School 37. Parents received a letter that the district was handling the problem last week. But some parents and the Buffalo Teachers Federation say officials just aren't doing enough. News Force Rachel Monjovi is here looking into this tonight. Rachel? Don and Jackie, the teachers union says this issue should have been dealt with quickly and decisively. They say they want a policy in place so that something like this doesn't happen again. Parents want the same transparency and better communication from the district. I'm not sending my son to school and I bring home these bucks because they're not going to pay for my house to be fumigated, and I can't afford it. Michelle Eggleston's seven-year-old son goes to school 37 in Buffalo. She pulled him out of school last Friday because the school said they found what looked like bed bugs in the building. The school sent home a letter to parents a week ago saying someone had possible bed bug bites. Thursday, I went in, and there's stuff everywhere. People are throwing out their classroom stuff. You know, people are just, their hair's all tied up. They say to put rubbing alcohol on the kids. There's kids still missing from school. It's not taken care of. The Buffalo Teachers Federation filed a grievance against the district for exposing teachers to unsafe and unhealthy working conditions. What we're looking for is a governmental agency that will go in there and tell them, look it. You better do better. You have to have a policy and you have to make sure that this does not happen. The teachers union also said during a meeting with a parent, a bed bug crawled onto a teacher's hand, latching onto a finger. The union said after that, the teacher didn't feel safe going to work, afraid of bringing the bugs home. The district admits there have been occasional sightings. The school says qualified pest management continues to inspect and monitor the school. But Eggleston tells us she's not sending her child back to school 37. He's already been pulled out for next year. Like there's, I'm not returning him to that school next year. I just feel bad. Like I didn't want it to have to come to this. You know, I love the staff at that school, but it really needed to be handled better. And the ball was dropped big time on this. The teachers union did send a letter to the Erie County Department of Health for assistance. The district says they will review the steps they have already taken and adjust their plan moving forward. Reporting live, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 6.